Music is one of the core factors to adding polish to your edit, as well as making your video appear more professional. So in this video, you're going to learn how to do just that in Premiere Rush. If you didn't already know, Premiere Rush is Adobe's free mobile editing software, which can be accessed on iOS, Android, and desktop, and is one of the best beginners editing software out there. So the first thing you'll have to take into consideration is where you're actually getting your music from. You have to be sure that you're complying with copyright laws so there's a couple of good sources where you can find music while still having permission to use it. The first option is the YouTube audio library. There's a bunch of free songs there and it actually shows you how you're allowed to use the music under every single song. It's built by YouTube. There's a ton of great songs on there and chances are a lot of YouTubers you watch actually use those in their videos. Another plausible option is finding a song on one of those no copyright music channels although that is a bit risky as the copyright stipulations can change and I've actually had that happen to me on some of my older videos and the songs later get copyrighted because when I initially created them, the artist had given permission to everyone to use the songs and later down the line, he actually ended up changing his permissions and I actually got a copyright strike for that. So you do wanna be careful with that and sticking to the YouTube audio library is a safer option. Now the third option, which I prefer, is actually using a paid service such as Epidemic Sound, Audio Blocks, or Morning Light Music. These sites basically charge you a subscription fee for you to be able to have access to their entire music library, which they consistently update, and you can use them in any of your videos without any troubles. I do find that the quality of music tends to be a bit higher on these services as compared to their free alternatives. So if you're getting really serious about making videos, it is worth checking these out. Now that you've picked out your song, simply download it to your phone's built-in file managing app. Android phones do this automatically, and as of iOS 13, Apple phones do as well. All you have to do is click the download button on the site. A prompt will come up giving you the option between view and download. You'll wanna hit download and that's all you really have to do to get your music. To get started in your Premiere Rush project, you're going to wanna hit the blue plus sign in the bottom left corner. Upon clicking it, you'll see four different options. For our purposes, we're going to want to hit media. Now you'll see a list of all the locations you can import from and while audio may seem like the obvious choice, this isn't actually the correct location. So what you're gonna to wanna to choose is files. We're now brought to the file manager screen and the point of this is to allow us to kind of organize the files that we've already imported. But for now, we're just gonna to wanna to hit import from files. Now by default, it may bring you to the recents view, but it's actually a lot easier to find what you're looking for in the browse view. Once you click on browse, you may be brought to a subfolder by default and it's easy to tell by checking the top left corner and seeing if there's a back arrow followed by the word browse. If there is, just press that. Now we can see a list of all the locations on our phone. From here, you'll want to locate your audio file, and for most of you, it will be in the downloads folder. And once you've found it, just click on it. If you have any additional songs you want to add, just repeat the process over and over again until you have all the songs you need. The numbers that you see on top of your clips just indicate the order they'll be laid on the timeline in. If you want to change it, simply deselect all of your files and select them in the order you want them laid down in the timeline. Be aware you can change this easily at any time. Once complete, press add and your music is now on the first available audio track. This basically means it won't overwrite anything you've already added. Now that you actually have your music on your timeline, the next thing to do is adjust it. By holding down on your music, you're able to move it side to side to adjust its position in time, as well as up and down to adjust what track it resides on. Now double tapping on your music will bring up the audio control menu bar. Here you'll be presented with multiple different options, but for now, clip volume is all that's really important. There are some more advanced features in here, which I may cover in a future video. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to subscribe. But anyways, to adjust the volume, press the clip volume button and adjust the slider. Using this process, you can instantly up your production value simply by adding music to your videos. To create engaging videos, not only does the content have to be relevant and useful, but also presented in a high quality manner and audio is a core component in that. If you're interested in learning more about how to create videos using Premiere Rush, check out our growing playlist of tutorials right over there. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.